sensibilities I would say uh, must have developed from her childhood days especially with this royal connection of our heritage uh, connection and then uh, seeing uh, beautiful costumes and also being part of the history and uh, then since she was fond of nature then she would be painting flowers so she had this access to Paris garden and she would be sitting there for hours painting these beautiful Himalayan flowers so you can see her two aspects very clearly one was that she was so close to nature and uh, very much involved she loved plants she loved flowers she loved gardening which again she retained till the end and then this history part of it and the historical subjects that she chose for her themes so I would say that this was the first influence which which she retained and then the second influence was uh, when she got married to my father and uh, when they came together my father you know he understood her so beautifully because he he, he loved her work he loved her energy he, he loved her excitement about art and that they had this common interest of adventure travel and wherever they went it was painting and painting and painting so it was either portrait paintings or landscapes or uh, whatever life and culture and festivals well, she learned watercolor painting transparent watercolor painting from my father he was very used to it and he was of course one of the best watercolorists at that time She was very particular about celebrating full moon nights, about uh, celebrating uh, uh, Mahashivratri. Uh, we, I remember we all would be sitting out and she would be making this kheer and the reflection of the moon would be falling in that pot. We didn't understand all that at that point of time but I can relate it now. And uh, she would be sitting there the whole night making that kheer because the light is, uh, the rays of the moon is falling there. And uh, we all were then made to eat. And we ate of course because it was very tasty. But in her mind it was that this whole uh, spiritual uh, activity that she performed is going to affect my children, my husband, myself. And, and uh, so she believed in it and so this painting where she is uh, drawing where she is uh, having this effect internally is 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 explained here and uh, the moon is of course this big one if you see these curvy lines this is the brain So it is very symbolic and of course I can read her drawing because I know her mind. I know that where it came from, she was very much into uh, searching uh, and knowing. So this uh, subject uh, moon's effect on mind was a, a theme that she wanted to know more about. So she would sit with wise people, learned people, saints, always discussing this subject that how does the uh, light of the moon affect a human uh, mind. I remember uh, Richard Bartholomew was saying that this is a drawing between uh, drawing and painting. So it's not just drawing, it is like a painting because where she has put Transparency, because if you are doing oil color, water color, you are using a lot of transparency, thick colors. She is doing everything with lines. She is not filling it. She is drawing lines after lines after lines after lines to create that volume, the transparency. So she is going into it, into it deeper and deeper and deeper, feeling her subject and coming out with the forms. 
so this is it is so true because it was she was experiencing it herself it was nothing that she just chose a subject traditional forms against side by side the mediums side by side but highlighted on the drawings because that gave her the power of working in other mediums